huge nut to crack here because there is this huge fear factor. I think some stylists do have a problem selling products. I think they don't like to feel like they're pressuring people into buying things. But I think what they've got to understand is that people need to know the information on the products because if we didn't use the product on their hair, their hair wouldn't look as good. I think it's important for them to be able to recreate their look at home. I hate the expression, my hair looks nice when my hairdresser does it. That's outrageous. That's just bad hairdressing to me. If you understand colour and if you understand product, your hair should look good all the time. Even, you know, but you need to educate your clients. I think that's really important and I think people want to be educated. At the end of the day, the client's got to buy a product from somewhere. They might as well buy it in salon where they know they're getting the right product, whereas they go into boots, buying something they think is going to work, it doesn't work, and then guess what? The hairdresser gets the blame for it. It's the haircut and not the product. If you're going to retail successfully, all of the team need to understand all of the products that you're retailing. It is all about confidence and I think the best thing that you can do um, with the salon team is actually spend a lot of time and encouragement and training. Knowledge, understand the products and understand that, that retailing isn't about selling, it's about total hair care. And if they understand that all you want to do is to help somebody to make their hair easier to comb, easier to manage, make it shine more, make it have more volume, that shouldn't be an issue. Um, they've got to know the products, they've got to be happy with the products um, and if they truly believe in the products then it hopefully will come over as genuine. I would say the average people aim for is around 10 to 15 percent of their turnover uh, is, is retail sales. Basic target would be 30% of the clients should walk out with a product. That's what I call it a baseline. Retail for us personally as a business is really, really important. I look at it that my retail should be paying my rent. That's that one of our goals. Last year we've just done our figures and um, we, we've had a 2% growth, which that's been really, really hard to achieve, but you know the team have pulled out all the stops. We do a lot of over-the-counter sales, but we do an awful lot of uh, sales with services. Um, so the care factors are generally higher. If you are about to apply something that you think is really special and going to make a massive difference to someone's hair in a positive way, you know, whatever conversation you're having, you just say, excuse me, just a moment, let me just show you what I'm going to use now. This is how much I'm using. I'm just going to apply it to a small part of your hair, comb it, now you feel that and you tell me how it feels. Feels really good. Good. Would you like me to use it all over for you? Yes, please. And away you go. When we do our sales competitions between the staff, it keeps it all a little bit upbeat and it's quite fresh. You know, that, like the healthy competition, I think it's called. Um, and we do lots of things like um, meal vouchers and, and all that sort of thing, and, and cinema tickets and spa days. When things are changing, you've got to change what you do. So we've put lots of offers on and we've, we've, we've bought in bulk. If your retail area is displayed in the right way, people will walk in and they'll come to you to be known as a, a destination. You know, you're a destination for products. If you don't have a massive area for retail, you will always find nooks, crannies. The backwash area in a salon is always a great area for marketing products. Another terrific question, if you don't mind, is just simply say to the client, how would you describe the condition of your hair? Silence. Let the client hear the question, think about it, and then answer it. Too often, people ask the question and answer it themselves. So they shut the client out. So again, they've missed the opportunity. If you see the way that, that other industries use all the days throughout the year, um, Christmas Day, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, all those days uh, as marketing tools, we can do that as well. And we work really closely with our manufacturers. So we've actually had meetings with them already this sort of November, December, as in what are their plans for 2010, because we can market ours with those. So if they're launching a new product, we would actually do something relevant to that. But we need to plan for that. So it's really important you do work with your manufacturers as well.